Hello, empty suits. What's this I hear about Madden community members being able to make more than 80,000 coins an hour without putting in their credit card numbers? They go into the store, they buy alternate playbooks where it's at the far end of the store, they click the button a few times, quick sell? No, no. No, I don't want to hear it, Johnson. I don't want to hear the issues where we could easily fix pack prices. We could easily add in new content. No, screw them. We want the money, but we don't want to do the work. That's the EA way. So, I hope you guys like my dramatic reenactment of what happened at EA headquarters after they found out about the alternate playbook method. But, yes, I will be taking uh, nominations for various awards. So they took away the alternate playbook method. And for those who didn't know, which is probably very few among you, I'll just take a look. I'll just show you what it is. So you go over here for, oh, 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 oh damn, I fucking lost it. Um, competitive currency, wow. All the way at the far end of the training store, you click on the button, you click on this, uh, and, then you, and then you open it up, and it used to be able to sell for 500 coins. And when training prices crashed due to, uh, you know, being late in the year, good packs, that kind of stuff, you're able to do this for a profit. So you're like, oh wow, this takes a lot of work. And yes, it did take a lot of work. It was a good method to make coins. And I'll have another one up tonight to replace it. Me and another person worked on it. Uh, but now it quick sells for 125 training or used to sell for coins. So you're going to lose training on each one. They killed it off. Now, EA oftentimes at the end of the year in Mutt leaves a sour taste in our mouth. It's like a, it's like when you promise your girl you've been drinking nothing but pineapple juice to make it sweet. But in the end, you know, you've just been drinking and smoking in straight West Coast. And, and uh, she's like, whoa. <laughs> It's a bad taste in the mouth, and that's what they're leaving in ours. So, it's sad, right? Mutt, it used to be so good at the end of the year, but now it's gotten rough. And, and, and right, we haven't got content in uh, so many freaking, what, weeks, months, days, and we won't get mad in 21 for a while. But, I want to go over a few, a few of the concerns to the community, a few of, um, you know, the points, counterpoints, what's looking forward to the future and everything. But... The first one is, oh, it's unlimited coins, right? It's unlimited coins, and that should be gone out of the market because there's a lot of EA bootlickers out there that want to just get in and get the juicy inside information, become one of them EA insiders and probably work for EA. Uh, they're like, oh, great job, EA. <laughs> Took you three seconds. Great job. Love it. So unlimited coins. There are plenty of ways of making unlimited coins in this game. Between head-to-head, -head, you can do literally an unlimited amount of head-to-head -to -head today. And you can do a, a literally unlimited amount of almost anything if you actually play the game. So maybe not s solos, you know, there are a limited amount of those, but a limited amount of head-to-head. -head. So there are ways of making unlimited amounts of coins in the game. The problem that we've seen is the rate at which we make unlimited amount of coins. And with the rate, especially late in the year, right? Late in the year, they should really just kind of let us go at it and generate coins and like don't care that much. And we'll go to the main counterpoint in a second. But like, we're generating these coins, okay? But every week you can generate a similar amount of coins just by doing the solos, just by doing the dailies, just by doing, you know, a little bit of weekend league, get those rewards, John Madden, uh, trophies if you play head to head at all. Uh, so it's not like it's that big of a deal in my mind. It's it's It shouldn't have been something that EA specifically looked at, but they did because of they claim, they claim because people are getting stuck and, and, and on, a, on a load screen and they didn't want to have their customer service and here I'll, I'll bring up a tweet i had about that um uh, about somebody getting stuck on too many unopened packs so here it is so here's the problem and there are a lot of people making a lot of mistakes in the community and you do got to feel sometimes for ea help having to deal with these people even though ea help is oftentimes not a help at least in my um i would say limited use of them so I've mentioned it about a dozen times. You've seen me on stream, YouTube say, hey, don't let your unopened packs get insane, okay? Uh, it locks around like 15 to 1600. And there's dozens of people that reached out to me with this problem. Even after I've made this claim widely, like I've, I've tried to put it in like a lot of my contacts where I talk about this. I say, don't let your unopened packs and people still do it. So like over a dozen people reached out to me with this problem. And for the number of people that didn't reach out to me, probably 10, 100 times more than that, we have a problem as a community. We don't understand. Yet, when you listen to these methods, I, I don't know why you listen to any other content creator. I should be your number one stop, your number one focus, the best for all these methods for making coins. 
Because I oftentimes give the caveat, right? People will put out shit like, uh, hey, unlimited coins, and either it's trash or it's if it is good, if they, if they are taking a method from me, they'll forget to remind you, hey, don't do this part of it because there's a downside, right? You know, people will promote coins, but they won't tell you that you'll get banned for that potentially. So tr I try to make it balanced that way. I try to tell you, hey, here's the downside. And a lot of people didn't hear that, but then they reached out to me with, hey, what's, what's this issue? So try and keep your ears open when you're watching these videos. Don't listen to the method and then just forget the rest of it. So people claim, hey, this took EA three seconds to do, right? It didn't take them very long at all to change this. Then why the fuck are our packs? If this isn't taking long, why are Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs, which will return 8% chance in a 97 plus? 97s are going for what? 30 something K? I did look at my training ratio right now. 30 something K, at least when they come out. 97s. And you have less than a 10% chance out of each pack of getting that. And it costs 180,000 coins. Absolute bonkers to me why these things. This is a 30 second fix, too. Why hasn't this been looked at? Why is it the alternate playbook method got looked at? Why, why, why? Because we generated coins versus losing coins. EA cares about making money, first of all. That's a major issue. Pack odds could have been updated on it if it did stay 180k. There's so many s small things that could be done, right? And even, even bigger than that, right? House rules that were promised to us once every two weeks. When was the last time we got that? And then before that, when was the last time before that? House rules, major issues, sets, promos, cards. Where the hell are they outside of the, the standard, what, it's nine that we get a week now? They've probably had this shit in the can for months. And they just don't do anything else. So I get it. People are like, oh, it didn't take that long. There's so many other things in this game that wouldn't take that long. Or just put in a little bit. Bring us the C team. The C team's better than no team, right? We've made fun of the C team in the past. Please bring back the C team. Please keep them on mutt from the previous year. Versus just kind of taking the entire summer off and then even bundling the launch anyways. Like they did this year. Like they took the entire summer mad 19 off and 20 still was asked at the beginning. It still had major issues. So, content. What the fuck? They're lazy. Alright? Let's move on. Back to the alternate playbook method. I got a bunch of notes I want to get through. So, all they did was fix this, right? EA took the shortcut. They changed the quick sell value. To stop people from getting to the, the 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 locking screen, the connection loss screen, when people try to get in, all they did was kick this can down the road, right? This didn't change the programming at all. There's still if somebody still is somehow able to get a lot of coins or packs, they're still gonna have this issue. All they did was make it they disincentivize for people from doing it. The simplest, laziest fix possible. We've been seeing their gameplay team do this for years, and look at the state of the gameplay. They always take the hack around instead of actually fixing the fucking problem. Instead of actually going on, hey. Maybe we should raise that limit. Do you think they're going to do it for 20? One? No. No, 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 no. If they do, I will be pleasantly, su pleasantly surprised. But, like, I, I just don't understand. Like, we have binder limits. And will be the show doesn't have binder limits. You can have as many cards as you want. I don't understand why EA has these limits on us between packs and binders. When other gaming companies have shown they haven't had that. Now, I've never had 1,600 packs, and that will be the show. And somebody can do that research for me, but... I don't know. They, we're probably going to run on this, this this issue down the road at some point. I know Marksman ran into it earlier this year with uh, Presence. He got kicked out in Connection Loss and they stole all his Presence from him. And that was a huge L from him, even though he's on PC and so uh, coins don't really count there. So all they, they didn't really solve the issue at all. They just kicked it down the road. Um, and here's the thing. Even with this, even with that, even with people going having to go to EA Help... I mean, technically, EA doesn't need an excuse to take shit away from us, right? EA doesn't need anything at all. So, on that sense, for people being dumbasses, because I've seen it, I saw it live. I, I am willing to give them a little bit of a break because people did a lot of dumb things, no matter how many times I warned them. And uh, they still kept doing it. <laughs> One thing I will say, moving forward... You know how people? I saw a lot of I saw a lot of people making this argument about coin making methods inflating the price of gold and tickets, right? A lot of people are like, oh my god, the color rush method, the what the fuck other method did we had that time? Those are the reasons why gold and tickets are so expensive. So this great coin making method, what 80, 90k an hour, sometimes less, sometimes more. Huh? It really inflated the price of these gold and tickets. I just want I just want to throw in a jab saying, oh wait, maybe they didn't. 
Maybe they didn't inflate the golden tickets. Maybe it's EA supply and demand that does that. That has way more effect on the market than these things. As long as they're not... See, they're like, like the rate at which you're making coins is the problem. And the rate at which we made these, these alternate playbook coins was not an issue, in my opinion. Because it just wasn't fast enough. It, it did work. It, it was very nice. It was boring. I didn't do it. I hated it. Lamar meant... Like this, remember this card? It was like 6 million coins. Now it's under a million. So supply and demand and the supply of the card needed to go up was the problem earlier in the year, not the coin making methods that we had. So, but on a counterpoint, how much did this affect the market? How much did bots and people doing this and um, macros, right? How much did that affect the market? Will training prices collapse? Because now nobody cares about training at all, right? How many more cards do we need to power up? How many much more training do we need to do? Will it go lower? Probably. Some other methods will work now that training goes even lower since so this method is gone. Some like some like beer tea methods. I got a beer tea, tier beer. B tier method coming out later tonight like I talked about earlier. Um, or at least I think I've talked about. I don't know. I I'm, don't have a good brain. So how much how much will training collapse this week if we get fat packs again because nobody's going to be buying it for um, the playwright method? I don't know. I would expect maybe a little. We'll see if it has a larger impact on the market or if the cycle continues where 96s go down to like, what, under 15K and then boost back up to 30K later. So it's a sell day today. Definitely sell off your binder today. Um, and uh, we got we got a little bit more to go. But uh, so, interesting, interesting, interesting. It does have an effect on the market, but it doesn't have as dramatic effect on the golden tickets like we thought. It's kind of like, I don't know. It... it, it, it there's so much that goes into economics here and prices and fluctuation and people, the velocity of coins through people, the people at which they, they beat challenges, get new challenges in the game that brings out coins, coin making methods, all that stuff. We'll see what prices do this weekend. Um, also, GMM, they're streaming again Thursday, so look out for that. Just want to let people know on that. So yeah, I, I want to go back to bots and macros, right? As uh, people were able to make bots and macro macros. People blame that a lot. For I should have adjusted this earlier in the video, but we're getting to it eventually. So here's here's a uh, a video I found um, that a YouTuber posted of people doing the method through a macro where they just hook hook their hook something into their co computer and they hooked it up to a controller. Now the engineering and ingenuity to do this it's kind of important. This is from Swift, by the way, but. How many people in the Madden community have this, right? And this is generating, what, 80, 90K an hour for one person? It's kind of intense, right? This is a tough setup to do. It's more on, like, PC where it's easy to automate it. That's that's a problem for these kind of things. And here's the thing. You won't be able to stop people putting shit into the controller. They can, they do the same thing in head-to-head -head right now. People are doing the same thing, loading in with 60 overall teams and playing out the game by hitting a few buttons. People are able to DC glitch. People are able to pause glitch. Now... The issue isn't the method. The issue is the bots. EA needs to be diligent on their security. They need to be able to stop these people from doing this because people are going to take advantage of any system. So blaming the alternate playbook method for the botting problem in Madden is backwards. The botting problem in Madden needs to be taken care of so that way real players can take advantage of systems like this. And that way you kind of don't screw over your real players. But yeah. It is kind of an interesting, interesting bot. So more, I mean, if, if here's the thing. EA, I don't know how hard it is to put in a detection system that says if somebody hits the same buttons at the exact same rate for a half hour, even like 10 minutes, if somebody hits the exact same buttons, the exact same microsecond, or not even that close, in the exact same order with no distractions for 10 minutes or more, I mean, right? Bring them up with the uh, capture. Bring them up with a recapture. Bring them up with the uh, the sliding animal things. That I know you have. So there are ways of stat, uh, like there are there are current ways of doing that, stopping bots. But like you gotta get your security off the snuff, EA. Right? I'm sick of getting DC'd. I'm sick of getting dis uh, like DC means disconnected, disconnected from games. I'm sick of being um, kind of like losing connection and people getting the wins, people quitting getting the wins. So uh, that's the thing. When when we give you literally hundreds of millions of dollars a year. You gotta deal with this shit. You gotta have people dealing with this shit. That's part of the game, EA. Please. Please fix your bot problem. Uh, let's see if I have any other points that I wrote down that I want to talk about. Um, 
Nope, I think I got it. Like I said, take a look at for tonight for Market Tuesday. For another uh, loophole. Alright. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. See you tomorrow. Or tonight.